I'm Gilicious21, and this is How To Honda. Today we're going to be replacing the distributor on my EK Naomi 96 EK sedan four door, and it's pretty much the same for all 96 through 2000 Honda Civic. The tools we're going to need to get started is a ratchet. Got my ratchet here. I'm gonna need a 12 millimeter socket, and it makes it easier if you got an extension. So I got my 3 8 extension here. These three tools you need to replace a distributor. In case you're new to this whole thing, <coughs> I'm just gonna show you how it work. This right here is your 12 millimeter socket. You're gonna turn it where the square part is facing up you see one side is a square that part right there is facing up you're gonna get your extension 3 eighths extension right here it's gonna go in like a male and a female just like that and then you're gonna take your ratchet and put it on the end of the extension that doesn't have the socket in it same deal male and female and when they go together it's gonna to look like this you're gonna take this and you're gonna to come to your distributor this is your distributor right here with the spark plug why are you sticking out of it you see the connectors right there there's three bolts usually to hold this on on these handles I got two bolts um, one of them is missing down there anyhow you'll see the three bolts you're gonna take it go right in here and to loosen up it's always counterclockwise counterclockwise is the opposite way that the hands turn on the clock which will be this way that's counterclockwise clockwise is this way clockwise is to tighten but to loosen is counterclockwise so we're gonna go ahead and do that to so all three of these bolts Okay, so I got the top bolt loosened. I'm gonna go right here, move my short ram head take out the way. And you're gonna come behind the connectors right here. And you look down there on the distributor is another bolt right here. Yep, put your, put your socket right on that bolt right there. Same thing, counterclockwise. And it's loosened. Okay, so I pretty much got all my bolts undead. Um, before you remove the distributor something important I want to tell you about because if you don't do this step you might be in a little bit of confusion and get my new distributor here got a new distributor here from CarQuest this is my new distributor right here you want to match them up because with Honda's this whole distributor thing is a little bit tricky so you want to try to you know set it like that and make sure it looks exactly the same you see there's a flat end of the distributor the rest of it is like round there's a flat end right here you want to match that up flat end is like this and then you want to match up the bolt arms these are the bolt arms there's three bolt arms you see the bolt goes through match up the shape match up most of all the connector too this is a square connector that's a square connector so once you you know that they matched up and they all good i'm just gonna show you what i usually do here to, to avoid a whole lot of confusion <clears throat> sit my distributor right here and they both looking the same flat end is facing me right now you see that you see that so i'm gonna start one by one removing the spark plug wires and placing from the old distributor cap and connecting them to the new distributor cap in the sequence so I'm going to pick over here the one that's all the way down to the bottom right here it's the one I'm going to start with that's right here this would go on to this right here so we're going to do that one by one we're going to do it Oops, there next this one here it's gonna go here
Now, if you skip that step, you're gonna be online for weeks trying to find out your correct firing order. And it's not gonna be going good because if you misplace one of the wires, either you're gonna be running on two or three cylinders only or your car might not start at all until you get them in a the correct order. So you don't wanna skip that step, make sure. Next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to disconnect the plug connector that goes into this distributor from the wiring harness. And that's easy. If you see right there, you just pinch it. it has a wing right there, pinch it. Maybe you could stick a flathead screwdriver right here in this point and pry it while you're pinching it. And that'll make it easier to come apart. I've got it apart so the distributor could come right off. Another tricky thing you got to look out for is the way you bring the distributor off, keep it lined up that way. Don't twist it, don't turn it. Keep it lined up that way so you can make sure you stick the new one in in that exact position and keep an eye on the key back here. You see this key back here? Make sure that the key back here is positioned, the new key right here is positioned the same way the old key was because it only goes in one way and those two ears have to match up as you stick it into the end of the camshaft inside. Okay so I lined the key up on the inside and um, I connected the distributor. There should not be a gap at all. See this? See how it's flush right on there? They should be kissing just like that. There should not be a gap. Make sure there's no gap. Your next step is to do what I did. Once you got it lined up and it's kissing real flush, put your bolts back in. One, two, three. Got my bolts back in there. So the whole thing is lined up pretty much. I plugged my connector back in. You just plug your connector back in. And um, over here, there's a piece that holds the connector from getting burnt. You can just pop that on there just like that and it'll hold it in place. You've got your spark plug wires on there. You're pretty much done. Your distributor is installed. Now, you may want to go and get it re-timed. There's two different kinds of timing. When you're dealing with the ignition, it's called the ignition timing. And usually that's done with a timing light or a timing gun, whatever you want to call it. But um, you want to make sure you set the idle right you don't want to make sure it's not too retarded or too advanced um, so that's what you want to look into to make sure your Honda is running perfect after you install the new distributor if you still have a misfire issues could be spark plugs could be spark plug wires um, could be fuel injectors could be a number of things but um, a brand new distributor should pretty much fix the misfiring issue um, Glicious 21 and that's how you replace the distributor on your Honda Civic.